Hello and welcome to Interpersonal Communication Online at Hibbing Community College. I'm Aaron Brown. I'll be your instructor for this class. If you want to find out more about me, you can click on the About Your Instructor page in the content area of the course. Uh, for the next several weeks, you'll be logging into here, Desire to Learn, uh, for this class. Uh, where you'll be dealing with uh, how you communicate in your day-to-day -day life with all sorts of different people ideally with the hope of improving your communication skills and helping you out both professionally and personally. This video will briefly explain what to expect in the class in terms of work and also in terms of, of content. Uh, this class always has many different kinds of students. Some of you are new to college, some of you are coming back to college after a long time away, maybe you were working, maybe you were raising a family. Uh, maybe you use computers and the internet all the time. Uh, maybe this is the first time you've really used uh, the internet much or uh, taken an online class. We have all different kinds of folks and this is really your your best uh, chance to get to know a, a broad cross-section of the HCC community. I always find the, the mix of students is really interesting here and I, I hope you enjoy it. I know many of you are here because you're required to take a communication class. I am aware of a lot of folks in that situation. Some of you are here because you just want to improve your communication skills and that's great too. Uh, so we have people with different educational backgrounds, we have people with different educational goals, professional goals, uh, so uh, we'll be mixing all of that together here this semester. Uh, what I say at the beginning is always uh, if you try, if you participate, if you do the homework, if you do the tests, if you talk to me, if you're ever having a problem with the course itself, the content, or the uh, the online format. Uh, if you're in touch with me and all of that, uh, everyone who does those things does well in the class, in my experience. Uh, the folks who have a hard time, who fail, or who don't get a good grade usually uh, have missed assignments or fallen behind and, and stopped logging in uh, often. So uh, just know that if you try hard, I never leave anyone behind. When you've logged into this course, into D2L, obviously you already have, um, first thing you should do is read the syllabus. If you haven't done that yet, you definitely should. Uh, you'll see when you log in the news area. That's just the main page when you log into Desire to Learn, and then you click on this course under the My Courses section. Uh, once you've done that, you'll see the news page. That's where I post a weekly update. You'll always see um, the assignment, if there's a quiz, if the, what the discussion might be, it links to a page that has a more detailed uh, description of that week's assignment. And so that's the first thing to look for. Uh, if you're ever confused, just go back to the syllabus. It's in the content area, and there's a complete course schedule that'll, that'll have everything in there. Uh, every week, you will have a written assignment of some kind. Every week, there's always a written assignment. Uh, there's always an online discussion of some kind, so you'll always log in, discuss, and share things with your classmates. You'll always have something to type in Word or uh, in your word processing program and then turn in. That's every week. Most weeks, though not all weeks, there's a quiz as well, and uh, uh, you'll need to look out for the, the dates and the times on that. Um, the papers are always... Uh, posted, or I should say the assignments are always posted on Monday. Sometimes uh, I get them up Sunday night, but they're always up Monday morning. The discussion, you should be logging in and doing the discussion posts, the initial post, uh, as soon as you can, you know, in the next several days after Monday, before Thursday is what I ask. And then you have until the following Monday to do the replies to your classmates. That's part of the discussion grade is is uh, not only your response to the questions, but interacting with your classmates. Uh, the paper that I talked about is always due the following Monday. So you have exactly one week to work on every paper in this class. I recommend you, do, you get it in sooner if you can. And then the quiz, if there's a quiz, is always due, uh, it's posted on Monday, and it's open to take any time you want online before Saturday at 5 p.m. So you will have just under six days to take a quiz, which is a, a fair amount of time. Uh, so, uh, you know, just be ahead of, ahead of schedule and know that that's always going to be the schedule. I don't vary that very often. I, I, I really keep it pretty consistent and understandable so you know what's coming. Um, I do have a few policies you should know about at the beginning. I don't accept late papers. I don't accept late quizzes. 
unless I've been contacted ahead of time. If you contact me ahead of time, I'll work with you. We'll make arrangements. Whatever problems you're having, we'll work to resolve them. But to be fair to everyone, I don't take late work. So it's really important that you plan to do the assignment every week. And if there's a, some unforeseen circumstance, you're sick, sick family, uh, emergencies come up, I understand that life goes on regardless of the class. Uh, but if you're talking to me about it, I'll work with you. Uh, if I don't hear from you, there's not much I can do about that. Um, finally, you should know what the class is about. I suppose that's something you'll be curious about. Interpersonal communication is the verbal and nonverbal interaction between two interdependent people. That's the definition you'll read in the book. Sometimes it's more than, than two people, sometimes it's a few. Uh, you'll be surprised at how interdependent we are with all the people we interact with. Uh, this class will help you certainly with your close relationships, maybe your significant other, your family, your friends. Uh, but it's also important to know that it takes place between strangers and uh, people you don't know very well. And in fact, these are areas where uh, once you uh, improve your interpersonal skill, you'll really have a chance to improve uh, your professional outlook. Uh, lots of more opportunities might open for you in, in opening up your communication doors and, and windows as well. So uh, the first assignment calls you to set some goals for yourself. You should start thinking about what your goals are. And uh, we're going to help you work towards your goals. And I hope to help you. I hope you can help your classmates as well um, and be respectful and understanding of all the different people we have in this class. And I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you do. If you have any problems, get in touch with me. I am a real person, as you can see, and I am on campus uh, uh, at HCC. So if you ever need me, you can call me, you can email me, you can stop by my office during my office hours, which are posted. Uh, I thank you for taking interpersonal communication at HCC. Look forward to a fun uh, semester with you, and I hope to meet you somewhere along the line. Thanks.